And joining us on uh, is Honorable Judge Turner, MON, Legal Advisor, People's Democratic Party, PDP, South South Zone, to talk about the elections in Bielsa State. Good evening, Honorable Turner. Yeah, good evening. Uh, thank you for having me. You're welcome to News Now. Very quickly, um, without wasting much time, some of the chief teams of the People's Democratic Party the spread across the eight local government areas in the state have been able to come up with some of these ideas of how the election will run. Can you talk to us about the Bielsa election? As it is, um, the plans are being unfolded and, it's, and uh, as the Bielsa um, have defected to the All Progressive Congress, but PDP has said it was not bothered that the APC is not on the ground in the state. What is your reaction? Well, uh, thank you very much. The, the Bayelsa governorship election is important uh, for uh, so many reasons, uh, but I will just uh, highlight a few. Uh, first is that uh, the election will present uh, an avenue for Biosans to uh, renew mandate given to his Excellency Governor Doyeti, who has clearly shown capacity, who has clearly shown commitment to uh, develop the state and uh, unite uh, our people. Uh, it is not in doubt that uh, our apologies, of course, is uh, the struggle for control. And uh, of course, allocate them uh, for the welfare of the people. But uh, the thing with Bayasa election is that uh, there is a man who is uh, already in the saddle and clearly and how well the people are satisfied with the performance of this government uh, three years plus. He has clearly left no one in doubt of uh, his abilities and his capacities uh, to move the state to the uh, desired uh, height. Now, I can tell you that uh, we in the Philippines and of course the prosperity family are ready for this election. Even if uh, the election uh, was to be I mean, uh, today we will win freely and squarely uh, without any stress. I can I can emphasize, you know, that without any stress, okay. the governor's uh, sterling performance uh, is what is uh, in for us, and I can assure you that the elections are not in the hurry to change this team. Okay, Honorable Turner, Honorable Turner, um, you, from everything that you've been saying, you, you are letting us know that you have the confidence of the government, of the governor, Doye Diri, being re-elected because he's doing good things for the state. So do you also have the confidence that if the election is conducted in a free and fair atmosphere, without security threats, Governor Diri will win? That is, that is exactly the point I've uh, made, you know. Not just me having the confidence that uh, biasans, you know, and non biasans alike have the confidence in Governor Diri, uh, in his performance so far, and of course, his programs are very clear. They need to move to leading this state to the desired destination. And I can tell you that the confidence that we have the PDP and of the Prosperity family that will win this election free and squarely, you know, is second to none. Uh, if the election is conducted today, I can tell you that BSA freely renew the mandate of the Excellencies in the total injury. Okay, then. All that we can ask for is that Mr. President, you know, should allow. Uh, an atmosphere for free and free election. Mr. Okay. President must show 
that he is a true Democrat. This is the time for his credentials you know, to be displayed. Uh, because he is a Democrat as where he still have it. This is the time for him to now practicalize and show that truly is a Democrat. And so we expand the security, okay. INEC, and every other agency of government that have to do with this election are very professional in, you know, in their conduct. Okay, um, Honorable Tana, INEC is complaining that people in Bielsa State are not coming to collect their PVCs. Why is it so? How will they be able to partake in the elections if they don't collect their PVCs? What do you have to say on this? Uh, we on our part, we are also stepping up uh, uh, the sensitization on the populace on the need to get their PVCs and be part of uh, the election. Uh, we will also expect INEC to step up you know, the awareness and uh, possibly uh, devise means of getting these PVCs you know, down as low as possible, up to the world level, we can push these species, you know, up to the world level, so that people can actually, uh, you know, uh, assist these PVC. Okay. Even up to the units, they can break them down. Okay. There's nothing is too, uh, at this point in time, I don't think there's anything that is uh, uh, too much finite to, any uh, sacrifice that is too much finite to, you know, to make. Uh, beyond keeping these PVCs at the head office and asking people to come, I now can take you know some further steps by pushing these PVCs down uh, from the local government. Uh, as one. I mean, okay, like, away from the P the PVCs. Honorable Turner, very quickly, because of time, away from the PVCs, you've said um, what you were supposed to say concerning that. So one last question. What are your expectations from INEC? Judging from the previous elections, what are your expectations from INEC and security agencies on this election? Can you quickly elaborate on this? Yes. Well, you see, there has always been this fear on the part of uh, the public uh, that sometimes security agencies and the INEC, even to a large extent, uh, normally play some negative roles in the green elections. Uh, we would expect INEC and indeed the security agencies to be very professional, neutral. I mean, the, the, the PDP and APC or other party uh, uh, all Nigerians. So INEC should do their job. The police, the military should do their job and allow a free and fair atmosphere for people to come out, you know, and express their free will, cast their votes, and let those votes count. I'm sure that at the end of the day, uh, the Nigerians will be. All right. Thank you so much, Honorable Tuna. You've said so much. And we wish by all sons a very peaceful election come November 11th. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.